Before you look to invest your time or your money optimizing your website for search engines, there's one critical thing that you need to do. Just like you would never build a house without a foundation, we're gonna review a quick check that you need to perform before you spend any effort in SEO. Hi, my name is Scott Redgate and I've been an online marketing coach and in my 12 years working in digital marketing, I've worked on both the agency side and the in-house side. And in today's video, I'm gonna share with you one of the first things that any agency or consultant will do when they sign a new SEO client on. We're gonna learn how to check to see if your website is able to be indexed and shown inside of Google search. But before we do, I have something that I wanna give you. It's my seven day online marketing jumpstart PDF. You can get it at scottredgate.com slash jumpstart. If you're looking for simple tips that can get your business results, this is a great document. It's completely free, it's quick, it's simple bullets, and after you complete the steps outlined in this doc, not only will your website have a solid foundation to generate more leads or get more revenue, but you'll have a lot more confidence that you can manage your own digital marketing campaigns without hiring an agency. And if you do end up completing the steps outlined in this doc, you will have saved thousands of dollars as most agencies charge that to complete these steps in their onboarding. So the question is, why is it important to check to see if your website appears in organic search? Well, if you're like most businesses spending a lot of money in paid ads, you need to diversify your traffic sources. And one of the best avenues to do that is organic search where the cost per click is free. Earning more organic traffic can help you reach more potential customers with your goal of driving more traffic and conversions for your website. So how do you find out if your website is indexed by Google? It's super easy. Well, instead of typing in your company's name and its variations and searching for that, you can refine your search query on Google specifically to see if your website has been indexed. All you need to do is go to google.com and in the search box, type in site colon followed by your website address. For example, if your website address was example.com, you should type in site colon example.com into the search box and search. By doing this special search, you are telling Google that you only want to see results for your specific website. If your website appears in the search results, great. This means that Google knows about your website and has already put some of its pages in its search index. If it doesn't appear, not all hope is lost. There are a few ways to encourage Google to index your website. First, you wanna make sure that you aren't blocking your website from being crawled by search engines or having them index it. A couple quick ways to do this is to check your robots.txt file, which is essentially a set of instructions for search engines on sections that they can crawl and not crawl. You can find this by typing in slash robots.txt after your domain name. If your file looks like this, you're informing search engines that you don't want them to crawl your website. I'll provide a link in the description below for a resource for how you can better set up your robots.txt file. Another error that some websites make is mistakenly adding a no index tag to their web pages. A no index tag is an on-page instruction for search engines not to index the page. You can either look at the source code of the page to see if this line was accidentally added. You'll see something that says meta name robots content equals no index, or I'll provide a link to a browser extension that can spot it for you so you don't even have to look at the code. If you accidentally have the Meta Robots No Index tag on your page, you simply need to remove it if you want Google to index your page in the future. If you are not blocking search engines from crawling and indexing a page, and you have a website that is unique and provides helpful content, there are a couple of things that you can do to encourage it to be indexed quicker. I have a whole video on this topic and I'll provide a link to that in the description below. But the quick answer is that you'll want to set up a Google Search Console account, which is completely free, and inspect some URLs from your website to confirm that the pages are error free. And then Google allows you to actually request indexing of that page quicker. Another thing that you can do is input the URL of your XML sitemap in Google Search Console. In layman's terms, an XML sitemap is a list of pages that you want Google to index, and most content management systems create this page for you without you even knowing about it. Most of the time, you can access it by typing in your domain name followed by slash sitemap.xml. 
In conclusion, checking whether or not a website is appearing in Google is the essential first step when doing SEO work. You don't want to spend any money or any time creating content if no one is going to be able to see it. So that's why I recommend doing this first step before embarking on your SEO journey. I hope this video was helpful for you. And if you're looking for more content to help you on your SEO and PPC journey for your business, please consider subscribing to this channel and like this video. Thank you so much. Take care.